Let's examine the beginning of the hominoids, or apes, during the Miocene epoch. It's during the Miocene that we see the beginnings of the ape-human lineage. At this time, the continents were approximately in the same positions that they are today, except that South America had not yet joined up with North America. Fossil localities where Miocene hominoids are found are concentrated in Southern Europe, Africa, over into Asia. Let's review what happened already prior to the Miocene epoch. Following the asteroid impact that wiped out the dinosaurs, during the Paleocene epoch, we see the Plesiodapa forms found in what had been Lower Asia or the Northern continents. These are possibly archaic primates, although not everyone would agree that they're primates. They were very small, the size of mice, these initial ones. But by the Eocene epoch, we have undisputed primates, initially prosimians, but we also fairly early on see anthropoids. The Eocene is the age of the prosimians, but by the late Eocene, anthropoids are becoming more common and prosimians less. During the Oligocene, anthropoids proliferate and the New World monkeys split off from the Old World monkey ape human lineage. This brings us up to the Miocene when we see the first ape human lineage split off from all the monkeys. And by the end of this epoch, we see the first humans. The early Miocene, 23 to 16 million years ago, was warm and wet. And it's during this epoch or this part of the epoch that we see probably the last ancestor to both old world monkeys and apes and humans, that is the Caterides. Proconsul was abundant in Africa. It has teeth like an ape, but a body like a monkey and curved fingers like a monkey, but no tail. John Grouchet has painted a reconstruction of the proconsul face based on this skull. It's at this time that we see the first hominoids, that is, the splitting off of the old world monkeys from the ancestors to our lineage of the great apes, lesser apes, and humans. These first hominoids lived in forests, eating leaves and fruit and they have the distinctive molar with the Y5 cusp pattern, just like our molars. No consensus exists on what was the first hominoid. We have several different candidates. I'll talk about just two. Moratopithecus, found at 20 million years ago in Uganda, Africa. It had a mobile shoulder joint for hanging in trees, and the vertebra suggested it had a short, stiff spine both characteristics of apes. And Kenya pithecus, found about 15 million years ago in East Africa. It has ape-like jaw, face, and teeth, as well as arm and ankle features. If you look at the skull, you'll see it looks very much like an ape, very large canine teeth. And of course, also then the Y5 cusp pattern on the teeth. On the molars. The Y5 cusp pattern is found only among hominoid molars. So this uh, type of molar separates the apes from the old world monkeys. So again, apes have the Y5 cusp pattern on their molars, whereas on old world monkeys have just two cusps that are parallel to each other. When did the lesser ape lineage split off from the great ape human lineage? Genetic studies indicate that it may have happened around 20 million years ago. But just this month, the oldest lesser ape fossil has been reported at 13 million years ago, a single tooth. During the middle Miocene, 16 to 10 million years ago, we see increasing grassland savannas in Africa and very few monkey or prosimian fossils, but lots of different types of anthropoid proto-apes. 
much more variety than we see in apes today. Apes ranging in size from house cat sized up to gorilla sized. Initially, they appear to have been arboreal quadrupeds and most ate fruits, but some specialized in leaves or in nuts and fruits. And we tell this from their dentition. During the middle to late Miocene, between 16 to 5 million years ago, or a bit earlier, anthropoids split into the two great ape families of the aromapithecids, leading to the orangutan of today, and the dryopithecids, which led to the great apes and humans of today. Both display some adaptations for suspensory locomotion not seen before, and the, the suspensory locomotion is important for modern day apes. So the Ramapithecids have been found in Europe, Asia, and Africa, and are not thought to be our ancestors. We know of at least two genera, Sivapithecus and Gigantopithecus, and we think Sivapithecus in particular is ancestral to orangutan, and it dates to 13 million years old or older. If you compare the skull uh, of the modern orangutan on the right to the Sivapithecus fossil on the left, you can see the similarities. And again, a wonderful John Gershay reconstruction. The dryopithecids, which we think are in our lineage, <clears throat> date between 23 to 2.6 million years ago. We think again that they're ancestral to the great apes and to the human lineage, and they probably lived in forested areas. Dryopithecus is, of course, a very famous genus within the dryopithecid group, and John Gershay has reconstructed its face. In 2019, a new dryopithecine find in Germany allows us to uh, talk more about the locomotion of these early proto-apes because they found a complete set of limb bones. The authors of the report suggest a new model of early ape-human ancestor locomotion that they call extended limb clambering. With extended limb clambering, they say that both the legs and the arms were equally important in moving around in the trees. So with a broad thorax, a long lumbar spine, and extended hips and knees, as in bipeds, combined with elongated and fully extended forelimbs, as in all apes, this species that was just found combines the adaptations of bipeds and suspensory apes and provides a model for the common ancestor of great apes and humans. So when did all of these lineages split apart? Looking from the middle to the late Miocene apes, it appears that lesser ape lineage split off sometime between 20 and 13 million years ago. Then among the great apes, the orangutan lineage splits off over 13 million years ago. We have very little of the fossil record of gorillas, but they appear to have split off at around 10 to 8 million years ago. And finally, it appears that humans and chimpanzee bonobo lineages split around 6 million years ago, around the Miocene-Pliocene boundary. The late Miocene, from 10 to 5 million years ago, is called the terminal Miocene event. When a cooling trend caused aridity and Africa went from all forest to a lot of grassland. And this environmental change has been seen as significant in the development of the human lineage. As forests shrank, we saw more savanna grasslands with scattered trees. And during the late Miocene, old world monkeys become more common than ape fossils. So what first set humans apart from apes? Well, the earliest human ancestors have a mixture of ape-like and human-like characteristics, as you might imagine. But the first distinctively human character is bipedal locomotion. But the brain remained the size of apes initially. But we are now realizing that the earliest humans did not all start out exactly like us in terms of locomotion. What we see in the beginning of bipedality is a mosaic of characteristics and variety in how these earliest humans are bipedal. 
we see a mixture of bipedal locomotion with arboreal characteristics. One of the problems that we face is that during the time period of interest, when we uh, should be finding the first earliest humans, we have what's called a fossil gap, a period during which few primate fossils exist. So where are we finding fossils of these earliest humans? This map shows you that um, most of them are being found in East Africa at each of the places where you see a red dot. Uh, but we now also have a fossil locality in Central Africa in Chad. So one way to display the origin of the human lineage is to show a cladistic tree, which is based on the order of evolutionary branching. So among the apes, the first to branch off are the lesser apes at some point between 20 and 13 million years ago. The orangutan has also branched off by 13 million years ago. The gorilla has branched off by about 10 million years ago. And the humans versus the chimp bonobo lineage is split, we think, sometime around six to five million years ago. And most recently of all, bonobos split from chimps less than one million years ago. It's looking as though the last common ancestor between humans and the other great apes was arboreal, not knuckle walking, as we had so long assumed. Next, we'll examine bipedality before looking at the record of the earliest bipedal humans.